Hello. In last lecture, we have completed with our schematic, and in this lecture, we'll start with our layout or PCB board. Before moving further, I would like to tell you one thing that whatever net names we we have given to a particular net in this schematic, these net names are also visible uh, in a layout, and they are very helpful when we, we are routing the tracks. So it is good practice or it is helpful if we give name to some of important net in our schematic for example in this case we can give name to this input name net called as vin so click on name click on net give vin enter and place it here and this is output net so we'll give it name 5 volt because it's 5 volt output okay and place it here now when we are actually drawing the tracks for these connections these net names are visible on that track so it will be very helpful so just save and now we'll transfer this schematic into a layout so in eagle to do that it's very simple just click on this option called a generate slash switch to board and it will take us to the layout window so click on this and now we are in the layout window now in this layout window here we can see all the footprints of components which we created earlier while creating the library and this black area this is actual board area where we have to work now for this power supply we really don't need this bigger board so that's what we'll do click on group select everything and just press delete on keyboard and we'll draw our own board shape so first change grid to 200 mils and turn the display on ok now to draw the board area expand this tool menu click on this line change layer to dimension and select bend style to 90 degree and we'll draw the board now while I'm drawing the board I want you to see here so that we can see the size of board so initially I will click on origin and I will go 1200 mil up click at right side 2400 mil click 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 and escape so this is actual board area and inside this board will place all of this component now again change grid to 25 mil and inside this board will place components with a grid of 25 mils now in this lecture we'll do the placement of component and we'll set up the design rules for our board so when the schematic is very big or when we are working with bigger schematic it is recommended that to place all the component by looking at schematic sheet but in our case our schematic is very simple and we remember the all components how they are arranged in a schematic that's why we'll directly do placement in the layout only but we can also refer to the schematic also and if you want to do that again click on this switch to schematic icon so we'll get to the schematic and again if we click here we'll go to the board now initially we'll place all of these mounting holes at four corners so for that click on move click on center of mounting hole and place it somewhere here like this now one more thing I would like to tell that for placing the components we really don't need their values their names are maybe we need but we don't need their values so we can turn them off by using layer setting option so to do that click on this layer setting and this is the layer setting window and from this window we can disable or enable particular layer 
for example very first layer if you see top and which is in red color so these all pads they are in top layer and if we hide this by clicking on this sign we'll see all of the top pads are gone now and if you want to again visible them click here again by using this layer uh, setting option we can turn off the particular layer or turn it on so for this we don't need this turn t value so click where so values will be gone and click on ok now take second mounting hole and place it somewhere here Now these yellow lines which we'll see these are called as rack lines or they are also called as rubber connection and these are the connections which we made in the schematic and these yellow lines tells us which point is connected to the which point in a layout so they are helpful so again take this third mounting hole and place it here Now take this fourth mounting hole. Now we can see this yellow rat line is showing connection to component which is outside the board. If you want to see connections for this component with respect to its nearby component, we have to click on this option. This is called as rat nest. Now connection for this mounting hole is showing with respect to the component or mounting holes which are near to this one. So again click on move and place this mounting hole. So using this rat nets option we can minimize the connection. Now very first we'll place this two pads, pad for input and pad for ground. So go to layout again and this is the pad for input. So click on move click on the pad and we'll place it somewhere here and this ground is the ground pad for input and we'll place it somewhere here we can also move these names for example i can move this mh2 name by clicking on this plus sign place it here Place it here. I will move this wheel down. Now, after this pads, let's see in schematic. Next is a capacitor, and which is C1. So go to layout. And this is the C1 capacitor. So click on move, click on the center of this capacitor. Now again, these yellow lines showing capacitors connection with respect to the components which are outside board. So first I will place it in board. I will click on this rat nets option. Now this connection are minimized and they are according to the components which are nearby to this capacitor. So click on capacitor and move it here like this and place it here now after capacitor there is voltage regulator and after the regulator there is a diode so go to layout click on move pick up this regulator right click to rotate it first place it in skip layout or place it in a board area click on this rat nets option again pick up this and place it somewhere here now pick up the diode d1 it's here so click on this sign first place it in the schematic sorry place it into the board click on rat nets option now the connection are minimized again pick the diode right click to rotate and place it like this now after diode it's inductor then this capacitor 
then this register and LED and this then these two pads so go to board move pick up the inductor place here rat nest pick up inductor and move such that the connections are minimized place it here then this capacitor take capacitor place it into board click on rat nest move it a little bit up now the resistor so we'll first take resistor and LED both into board click on rat nest now move them so we'll place LED here and register here now these are two pads for output so output pad I will place it here and lastly this ground pad and I will arrange the remaining names and again click on track next so placement is completed and I will suggest you to follow this placement only because it's according to the schematic so flow is maintained here so placement is completed and remember for placement we used grid 25 mil now let's set up the design rules so to set up the design rules go to tools click on the second option DRC and this is the window by which we can set the design rules so click on clearance so clearance means the distance with minimum distance between two tracks and by this matrix we can set clearance for different attributes or different components on the layout for example here is the clearance between wire to wire it's 6 mil already given we'll change it to 10 mil now if you click here it's distance from pad to wire so through hole pad and SMD pad and wire or the track again we'll set it to 10 mils distance from wire to via you can see here this is via wire 10 and we'll set everything to 10 Now click on sizes. So minimum track width will set it to 10 mil, and minimum drill hole will leave it default. So by this window you can set different design rules for your design. Now click on apply, clothes. So this is how you can set the design rule, and this is how you can do the placement. So that's it for this lecture and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.